Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville. I have a brief thought for you today that comes from the book of Proverbs. We're on Proverbs chapter 5. I've been working my way through the book of Proverbs. If you haven't checked those out, I check out some of my other daily thoughts. We've worked our way through Proverbs 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're up to Proverbs chapter 5, verses 1 through 14. And in my Bible, this, this passage is sectioned a warning against adultery. And it is a warning, and it's a warning because often what we want, you know, we want discretion, we want deep knowledge, we want life to the full. And yet, often our hearts and our minds are filled with very low thoughts. So, you know, there are lofty thoughts, big things that we want, and then our minds are filled with these low thoughts. And among those are lusts, desires, sexual desires. And in this passage, we have a warning a warning to a man about the temptation of an immoral woman. But it could just as easily be a warning to a woman about the temptation of an immoral man. I would encourage you not to get caught up in the gender written about in this passage, but to think of these as more general applicable uh, principles that could be applied to, to anyone, uh, really. And what they're writing about here, what, what that writer of Proverbs is writing about, is an enticement towards sexual sin. Uh, this desire that we have, it's, it's like as sweet as honey. Like There's this like, mm, if I had just a little taste of it, uh, then I would be satisfied. And what we're warned about, though, is that, that little taste that, oh, just, you know, just a little bit won't hurt. It very easily leads to a metaphorical death. And therefore, the wise person, the discerning person, the, the, the person who is righteous stays on the good path. Now, there's a warning as well in this passage that if you don't stay on the good path, well, there's there's problems that will happen. And one of the problems that we experience is regret. Oh, man, do we ever see this, right? Or experience this. But we've done something wrong. We know it's wrong and we regret it. How I hated discipline. Writes the writer of Proverbs. How my heart spurned correction. Now, where this passage lands is, yes, avoid sexual sin, but be open to correction. Be open to discipline. Don't be hard-headed. Don't be stubborn. Be open to wisdom. Draw near to God and God will give it. Listen. Stay on the good path, particularly when it comes to sexual sin and adultery. Grace and peace be with you.